good. Welcome to another edition of Lifestyle 011. Yeah, yeah, the your plug to everything lifestyle, culture, and entertainment. Ikamalam Gusapta, the A-class DJ, your host with the plugs when it comes to everything entertainment, culture, and lifestyle. You are exactly at the right place. We do this every single Saturday at 7 p.m. on Soweto TV. In fact, we kickstart with a business that is definitely going to add to your lifestyle. We head out to Greenside, a business called Sneaker Bar. If it's Sangu, Indo Ozamu, we keep her fresh all the time. Bongani Zamini is your guy. He is the founder. We got to sit down with him and talk about the business and what you can expect from Sneaker Bar. Let's go check it out. My name is Bongani Lamini, um, founder of Sneaker Bar. Uh, we're based in uh, Greenside on 26 Glen Eagles Road. Um, so Sneaker Bar is a premium sneaker cleaning service. We offer a premium sneaker cleaning service. So Sneaker Bar opened in 2017. Um, I mean, I'm originally from Mdeni, so my grandfather had a, he was a cobbler. He had a, a, a shop called uh, Vugani Repairs in Pumalong. So I got that inspiration from there. And also my first ever Afropunk, when, they, when there was that mess with the mud and all that, my, my all-stars were drenched in mud. So that's where I thought, okay, let me, maybe there's an opportunity for me to open something where we can create work and clean people's shoes at the same time. Uh, so our prices started 90 Rand for kiddies and 100 Rand for adults, um, 50 Rand for the, for the throne where you wanna sit and go with your shoes. Um, but I would say that only use the shoes that you really feel that you, 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 you don't wear as much because you also have to budget in terms of cleaning. Cleaning is a convenience for people who want to continue with their lives and they don't have the time to clean the shoes. It's not necessarily something that's forced on people. But we all know, Guti, when it comes to laundry, dishes, all that stuff, we need something so that we can continue with our lives and so that we can care for our loved ones and be with our loved ones. So this is... This is part of what we want to do and, 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 and what we really stand for is sneaker bar. So the sneaker bar hoodies, they are for sale. Um, the bags, they're complimentary if you uh, have certain pairs that you bring to the shop. But we are working on uh, changing our merchandise a bit because we don't want to just slap a logo on the top. We want to have like, isn't like, I wanna, my brother has a brand, but I don't wanna mention it because this is about me. But he, he, he's, he's, he's merging Gassi culture with his brand. So with us being a sneaker business, I'd like to have sneaker bar tops that have our logo, but like different images uh, on the actual top. So, but to answer your question, yes, these are for sale. Okay, so you can contact us on Twitter, with Sneaker Bar SA, Facebook, Sneaker Bar SA, um, and then on Instagram, we sneaker bar South Africa. Dot, sneaker bar South Africa on Instagram. www.sneakerbar.co.za. I want to get my sister. When we talk about the men must, a man must keep his sneakers clean all the damn time. And sneaker bar from Greenside is definitely the perfect place to make sure which sneakers gangwenya si fresh, si clean all the time. Listen, we're always big on plugging you on amazing artists and also just amazing spaces. Tonight, it's all about putting on a new kid on the block. His name is T.S. Papa, all the way from the Northwest. Let's find out what he's doing with his music. Good day everyone, uh, my name is T.S. Papa. I'm F-Town Boy doing things. I'm a hip hop artist from Mafike, yes. Well, it started as in like a little kid. Um, I, I, I always remember that I've always been like inclined to arts and culture and stuff. So with my junior high, that's when like I really started getting into music because the influence around the school, the schoolmates that I had at the time, and I figured it's a better way for me to express because I'm I'm a writer. So I felt like music, you know, resonates well with how I want to express myself fully. You know what I mean? And it was back in 2007. That's when like I, I started rapping just for fun. 
and then uh, yeah, the rest is history. I first was listening to like international guys like your Eminem, Papoose, Kiera's one. And I remember one time when I was still trying to dig in deeper, there was this element or sound that was growing back in Muff Town, it was called Motswako. And I bumped into Tuxenganga, Double HP. Those are the people that really wrapped in how I always wanted to express myself. And I actually learned, you know, the cadences, how you, cause it starts with mimicking your favorites until you find your particular sound. So yeah, Tuxenganga, he's been like the part of fabric of who I am, Double HP, Kudichana, you know, and yeah, the rest is history. I'm here now, you know, putting my own bars, rhymes and whatever. So yeah, they really like inspired T.S. Papa. Uh, it started with me saying, I don't want to be, you know, one of those artists that wait to get a booking. I need to make a name for myself in my hood. So I started looking for, you know, small and establishment in my hood to say, give me a platform to host event. I'll call out other local artists, you know, and knowing that I'll be having a crowd that I can present my new music to. And with that, it really helped me because I started being the biggest guy who's been booked all over in Map Town, you know what I mean? So with that concept of saying I need to host my own events, then came other, you know, promoters saying, let's promote you because I needed to prove myself through performances that I really have what it takes so yeah that's all it took for me to just create my own events and uh, incorporate with other artists and other local businesses and then yeah it was booming yeah we're recording every day every day we're gonna be hosting as well like I'm taking everything that I was doing in Town to this so I'm taking uh, we, we also like organizing events after this I'm going to be somewhere else you know organizing still you know what I mean yeah yeah, it's 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 it's, it's hip hop. I think it best best defines it. Uh, amalgamation of different sounds: your piano, your typical rap, your little touch of like hip and hop. And uh, I don't have the title yet. I, well, I have a bunch, but I'm I'm, I'm not sure should, if I should you know say it or you know. But uh, yeah, it's definitely coming out soon this year. T S Papa, right? My name is T W E hyphen S Papa with an H go with alone. T W E hyphen S Papa. They can all digital stores, all pla social platforms. They can find my music there. Go check out the young man. Amazing stuff all the way from the northwest. Uzi, the city of gold. Uzo Panda and his music in hip hop is sounding absolutely amazing. It's definitely the future. Speaking about the future, the future is here on Lifestyle Zero on One. So much more coming through after the break.